Hey, welcome to Hard Science, the show where we use just a little bit of knowledge about the world to bend it to our whim. I'm Anthony. I'm Tara. And we have Michael from CDZA here. He's going to help us out with this experiment. We have this dream, Michael, and we think that you, as a master of all things music, could mm. help us with it. Yeah. Okay, okay. What we is it? We want to break a glass with our voice. Do you think it's possible? It is absolutely possible. <laughs> so all glass has a resonant frequency. It basically is the frequency at which an object will vibrate if it's disturbed by a stimulus like sound wave. The scored. voice equivalent to a Seven glass nine. is. I don't get that. <laughs> that pitch you hear when you clink a glass or rub the rim of it is actually the natural frequency of the glass. And if you can manage to duplicate that pitch perfectly and loudly enough, then eventually the vibration will cause the glass to flex enough to the point where it shatters. Fire. Mm -hmm. Oh. I have nothing in between those two. <laughs> the volume that I'm speaking at now is around 50 decibels, but in order for the glass to shatter, we're going to need at least 100 decibels, which is difficult, but not totally impossible. Oh! It's vibrating! It is vibrating. I, it vibrating! I can feel it vibrating. Now, we've also got some really old glass back there because research shows that a small flaw in the glass is going to help us because any cracking is going to start from that flaw. Also, Tara's very shrill. I don't know if she mentioned that. What? That's you. I think we should try you it again, really nice but we should try it with amplification. Yeah. I could hear the glass ringing in my ear. Oh. I swear I could. It's unbreakable. It's Bruce Willis. Time to cheat. Here we go. So uh, our last speaker was a standard speaker, so it's got a cone on it, right, to spread sound around. What we have here is a horn driver connected to PVC pipe. This is about 70 bucks. And this is going to just direct the sound straight into the glass. More power of voice. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to just amplify the crud out of this thing. Yes, and I've got a sound level meter here so we can make sure that uh, the pitch is above 100 decibels, which is what we need. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a running start, actually, if you guys okay. don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> All it took was a bunch of highly specialized equipment. Oh, and, and an incredible four hours time. And an incredible voice. Thank you. Incredible yes. set of pipes. Thank you. Yeah! 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 Isn't that the best feeling? <laughs> it is the best feeling ever. <laughs> Let's break everyone's windows. Okay. I think this experiment is over. All right. You think that you would not feel as connected to the reaction as you do. <laughs> it breaks and you're just like, you feel powerful. You do. I did that. You feel like you did it with your mind. I did it. Michael, thank you so much for coming by. Yeah. Hey, it was such a pleasure to be here. And you know what? You guys are actually both honorary members of CDCA now. So congratulations. Really? Honorary means we don't actually get to sing. That's, That's we fine. stand That's in the background. That's preferred, actually. <laughs> so you should check out all of Michael's videos over at CDZA Music, but you're actually going to be back next week, too. I will indeed, yes. We're going to have more fun with sound, so be sure to subscribe here as well. This one. Don't yours touch came... it. Don't touch it. I'm just interested in how yours came to a point. I know, right? It's good for stabbing. <laughs>